Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to my Elementor tutorial video. So in this video, I want to show you everything you need to know about Elementor, how to use Elementor, um, the different features of Elementor. Yeah, and first I made a presentation here where I want to show you everything in detail about Elementor and all the functions I, I want to show you in this presentation. And yeah, so I also made uh, chapters in this video. So if you want to skip a part, uh, then you can find all the chapters in the, in the video description so then you can jump from chapter to chapter if you um, already know what what Elementor is for example how to use Elementor and yeah so then um, let's get started with my uh, little presentation here so uh, yeah um, I want to show you a detailed video about Elementor all its functions and how to use it to build website and online shops yeah Elementor um, is a really good tool to build um, WordPress websites and uh, yeah and also online shops and different other websites and so then let's get started with my presentation here so um, yeah Elementor uh, drag and drop WordPress builder so the cool thing about Elementor is that it's really easy to use so you can use um, the drag and drop function of Elementor so you don't have to code anything um, yeah you don't um, need to know how to code so um, this Elementor uh, makes it really easy to create um, really good looking websites with uh, yeah simply drag and drop widgets you can see here in this uh, image you have these widgets on the side on the left side and then you can simply drag them and drop them to the position where you want to have them and this is really cool about Elementor let's go to the next card um, yeah no coding required um, the user user friendly interface so um, like I said with Elementor you don't um, need to have any coding background um, so even um, if you are a beginner and want to create your own uh, website your own company website or even an online store or print on demand store you can do this easily with Elementor uh, because Elementor gives you so much uh, functionality so um, yeah like I said all the widgets you can simply drag and drop the widgets to the place where you want to have them and also Elementor offers uh, you a lot of pre-made blocks and pages and this is the good thing about Elementor so uh, yeah real-time visual editing so everything you do in the Elementor interface when you open a page in Elementor and when you uh, change text for example or change images or um, place videos uh, on your on the site on the specific site then um, yeah everything is in real time visible so you can see exactly how your page will look like and then if you press on public on public uh, or make it public the um, changes of your site then yeah um, the website or the page looks exactly like you um, designed it in the back end of Elementor so then um, yeah another cool function of Elementor is uh, the responsive design so responsive design control for mobile tablet and desktop and yeah this is another thing I really like about Elementor that you can easily switch between uh, mobile view tablet view and desktop view of course um, when we build websites then yeah we build the websites on our large monitors and um, yeah then everything looks perfect so let's say we build a website on our uh, large monitor and we place all the elements on the right places and all the text and then um, you save it and then you open your, uh, open the website on your mobile phone and everything um, yeah looks a little bit different because the elements um, are not so wide um, then yeah on your on your uh, big monitor and this is the good thing about Elementor you can switch between the view mobile tablet and desktop and then you can um, adjust everything so um yeah when you build your website uh, on on desktop then you can switch to the mobile view and then you can see uh, in the preview here in the image um, it is really good illustrated uh, how a website looks on mobile so and um if there are some elements that are at the wrong place on the mobile view then you can easily adjust it and so you adjust this only for mobile let's say and um, and that hasn't any impact on the desktop view if you change something on desktop and then um, go to mobile so you can uh, 
create the pages separately and this is the good thing about Elementor. So then, um, yeah, extensive library of pre-designed templates. So if you want to um, want to build websites, then um, this function is really good. So then you have the library and then this is where you can um, place blocks or complete websites of the library on your page so that you don't have to start from scratch so you don't have to start with a blank page so if you want to uh, want something to have to start with then you can easily go to the library and import different elements or blocks or even complete uh, pages to your website and so then can then you can customize these blocks so for example when you um import the welcome page for example for your home page and then you can easily adjust everything you can adjust the complete layout the complete design but yeah you have something to start with and um, this is why i like the library of elementor uh, so much so there are so many good uh, free templates so you don't have to pay for this of course there are a few paid um, templates but there are also quite a few free templates in the library that you can or blocks that you can import into your website and this is really good as well then let's jump to our next card here and the next card is customizable widgets and elements so yeah um like I said, um, Elementor is the drag and drop page builder and you need different widgets or different elements to build your website. Of course, you need text, you need headings, you need images, you need videos, you need buttons and so on and so on. And Elementor offers you uh, thousands of different elements for literally any function you can imagine so and if there is any function you uh, you are missing uh, or yeah you are currently looking for and is not um, already into Elementor then you can easily add this with uh, different plugins you simply go to the WordPress plugin library search for the specific function and then um, yeah I can almost guarantee you that there is already a plugin or um, yeah that um, brings this specific functions into Elementor and adds this as a widget. So you can um, you have um, you have thousands of different widgets you can use. And I think to build a website or to build an e-commerce store, um, yeah, you can you can do this with um, the elements that are in the normal Elementor version. And uh, yeah. So then let's move on to our next card. I think this is our last card. So then um, comp compatible with all WordPress themes. Yeah, it um, doesn't depend on which WordPress theme you have installed right now or you want to install. So almost uh, any any templates or yeah any themes are compatible with Elementor. So this means um, you can, even if you have a theme that is currently uh, that currently doesn't support Elementor, then um, Elementor has a function that um, when you click on it, then Elementor makes it uh, comp compatible. And yeah, so um, so and later in this video, I also want to show you a really good starter theme so you can download for free and um, use them with Elementor. And um, yeah, so then let's go to the pricing of Elementor. So here you can see on the official page of Elementor, um, elementor.com, you have the pricing tab and here you can see the different pricing for Elementor. And um, yeah, here they show um, essential for 50 uh, bucks a year. But um, yeah, you can use the free version of Elementor. So I always use the free version when I build websites or e-commerce store, then the free version of Elementor is uh, more than enough. So, and even, yeah, of course the pro version, for example, the essential pro version for 50 bucks a year or 49 bucks a year, um, there are diff different widgets inside but you can also uh, like i said before you can also when you are when you want to have this specific function that um, is in the pro version then you simply go to the wordpress plugin library i will show you later how this works and then you can um, search for this function or for this widget uh, from a third party and then you can import it activate it and then you have this um, specific function or element so yeah you don't need to buy the pro version so the um, free version of elementor is um, yeah more than enough so um, yeah please don't uh, 
buy the pro version so the elementor free version is more than enough to uh, build e-commerce stores and websites so then uh, yeah that's it for this presentation of all the functions and um, yeah then i want to show you now how to build a website with elementor um, how to import the right theme and how to activate the right theme and then we will yeah build the website a test website and then in this test website i want to show you everything in detail how elementor works um all, all the widgets all the settings so this is um, a little bit complicated at first when you see this but uh, yeah you have to play around a little bit and when you for example play around with elementor um, for a day or for a few hours then you will get behind all the functions and then you see how everything works in elementor and then it will get easy and easier and easier and this is why um, yeah you should watch this um, entire tutorial until the end because I will show you um, some some details and some hidden features and yeah then I think let's get started and let's um, build our website with Elementor now we are on a completely fresh new installation of WordPress and now I want to show you everything step by step how to install the theme and activate um, Elementor and all the other plugins we need to create a website so um, everything we have to do here you can see welcome to wordpress so i can demiss this and um, yeah we are right now on the dashboard and then let's go to appearance where we can install our new theme so um i go to appearance and here you can see all the standard uh, themes we have installed with a new wordpress version so later on we can uh deinstall all these themes you can see the, uh, now activate is 2024 and then we have here 2023 and 2022 so um, these themes we can later uh, deinstall so this is really easy simply click on it and then you have the uh, delete button so okay now we deleted this theme and then um, yeah we go to add new themes and here you have a few different themes you can install here you can see um, hello Elementor so this is also a good uh, Elementor theme when you want uh, to create a new website or uh, yeah one of my favorite is um, Astra or even you can install Rishi so and I want to make it um, as easy as possible for you so then um, we for this um, tutorial we will install Astra and um, Astra also use Elementor so then I will um, hover over Astra and then I will click on install and um, yeah now the theme gets downloaded and installed in our wordpress version and this of course takes a moment okay now astra is installed then we can click on activate and here you can see um, build your dream sites in minute with ai we don't want this but we want to click on this uh, button here uh, let's get started with a starter template so this is always good so that we have something to start with and also later on we can also import um, elementor templates elementor blocks this is what i want to show you as well so we uh, click on classic starter templates here, this message we can dismiss and now all the starter templates um, are getting loaded and now we have to click on um, and now we have to go on top here you can see um, block editor when we click here then we can choose uh, elementor you can also choose beaver builder but this tutorial is about elementor so we click here on elementor and then the pages will get refreshed and here you can see all the the different starter templates you can choose uh, some of these starter templates are premium here you can see but also there are a ton of different um, free uh, starter templates so for example if you want to build a company website then you can go with something like this but uh, yeah you can you can choose your desired starter template but for this demonstration i will uh, choose uh, easy one so let's go with uh, planet earth here when we click on planet earth then we can see the preview of this theme and the good thing also uh, 
uh, when you go with Astra, then you will get um, all the different different pages imported. So um, the About Us page, for example, the Contact Us page, and so on and so on. Um, that we don't have to build this um, by ourselves, or that we have something to start with. So here you can see now the theme already loads, and here you can see we have um, the home page, of course, then the About Us service page, and the Contact Contact Us page. And um, yeah, this is um, how the page look like of course um, yeah it's not um, nothing too fancy but uh, yeah this is something um, so then we don't have to start from scratch so we don't have a white completely white page so we have something to start with oh, then um, here on the on the left side you can see um, the site logo you can upload a site a logo from your site if you already have a logo but you can also do this later with Elementor and Astra then here you can choose uh, the font if you want to have an, a different font you click here and you can see this um, goes in real time go back to the uh, stock font and here you can choose your desired color scheme let's go with this or this for example you can change everything later on in elementor then we click on continue uh, no we don't want to install anything of this and we can click on skip the step uh, and then you don't have to fill in your name or your email address. Uh, you can simply click on submit and build my site. So now um, all the blocks, um, all, all the plugins will get installed. So for example, Elementor will now get installed and a, a contact form plugin will get installed. And yeah, all the content of the pages, all the pages will get installed and Activated and yeah, this um, yeah now takes takes a while and I will be back when our page is ready. Okay, now the site is installed, so we can now click on view your site or visit dashboard, and we want to click on visit dashboard, and uh, yeah, now we are back on our dashboard and. Um, on the top left corner you can see um, your site name and then um, when you and the little house icon and when you hover over this and uh, you can see visit site so we right click open a new tab and then here is our site go back to the dashboard this is our live site now this is public this is published and then we go back to the dashboard and here you can see Astra and also we can see Elementor. So here you can see Elementor is installed. Um, yeah, so then let's go um, to our homepage again. And to edit this site, so all we have to do is we can go on the homepage. If you are logged in, you have the black bar on top and then you can see here edit with Elementor. Or another thing is when we go back to our dashboard and then when we click on pages or go to the pages tab, you can see all the pages and um, behind you can see about the, the about us page, the contact us page, you can see um, with, with which page builder this page is created and behind this is Elementor and um, the home page as well you can see front page is built with Elementor and when you hover over the specific page you can see um, the tab edit with Elementor you can click here to edit to start the Elementor page builder or you can go to to the specific page for example the about us page and then you can see on top in the black bar edit with Elementor let's go back to the home page uh, edit with Elementor. I hover with my mouse over this, right click, open in a new tab, and then yeah, Elementor gets loaded. So this uh, can can take a few seconds, but now it's already loaded. And um, yeah, here's the welcome screen. We can close the welcome screen. Also, we can close um, this structure tab here. I will explain this later how the structure tab works. And yeah, so then <laughs> welcome to the Elementor uh, page builder. Uh, yeah and uh, now you can see here this is our page where we can um, put on new elements or when where we can edit these elements for example when we for hover over this page you can see um, where when we are with our mouse on a specific element then the element gets highlighted or the box will get highlighted and when we click on an element let's click on the heading here earth then you can see the um, heading widget opens you can see the what the content earth and i can now edit this hello 
and yeah so this is how you edit this and then here's the html tag h1 so it's really important um, only a side note um, that you only have one h1 on each page so uh, make sure that you don't have uh, more than one h1 tags uh, on each page so you can have um, as many h2s or h3s on your home page uh, but only one h1 so and this is um, how you structure the page i will come to this later yeah and to go back to go to our um, standard widget overview we can hover or we can go to the plus icon we can click on the plus icon and then you can see on the left side all our elements um, all the widgets we have available now you can see on the um, layout we have container or grid boxes this i want to explain you later as well then under basics here you can see all the basic widgets you have um, the heading image text video button divider spacer google maps um, icons wp forms so this is our form widget a little bit further down we have uh, the pro widgets and these pro widgets are locked because we don't um, have the pro version of elementor we are using the free version of elementor and if we bought uh, for example the the pro version of elementor then these widgets will get unlocked but yeah there is a way around so later in this video i will show you um how you how we can um Add different widgets and for free and um, these widgets will replace this so then we don't have to buy the pro version and for this we can uh, minimize the pro pro version tab here and now you can see we have even more we have uh, image boxes we have icon boxes carousel basic gallery and icon list countdown and um yeah and more and more um yeah and here you can see link in bio um these uh, yeah we have only this available and these are also locked but we don't need them and yeah i think um it's it for now so you can see upgrade um but we don't need this so then let me explain you real quick how this works Oh, and one cool thing that I want to show you when we are at the topic of um, widgets. So let me show you a really cool um, widget package that we can install. So uh, let me click here on publish and let me close this. So um, let's go back to our dashboard and then let's go to plugins and um, add new plugins. So we want to install a new um, plugin. So let's go here to popular and then i want to install the package is it uh essential add-ons for elementor this package um uh, is really good so this is um a free package so this this package offers us a ton more of widgets so um we get uh, different widgets for uh, different use cases and um, this is what we want to install uh, essential you can also if you don't find it under under popular you can uh, simply uh, let me copy this oh, i cannot copy this uh, you can go to search plugin and then essential add-ons so when we search for essential add-ons then you can see essential add-ons for Elementor. Then we click on install. And now we click on activate. And then, um, yeah, we come to this installation wizard here or this setup wizard. So we click on proceed to next step, uh, basic next. And so here you have all the different um, widgets you can activate. So you can see content elements, creative buttons, team member info box. These are all additional widgets we can activate. Uh, event calendar, you can activate this if you want to have this uh, sticky video uh, dynamic content uh, element. So this is um, really good when you have a blog on your website, for example, then you can activate this post timeline. This is really nice when you have a blog, so then you can display your, blo your blog post on the specific pages with these widgets. 
let me activate this and yeah, another creative elements, fancy text, fancy charts. If you need this marketing uh, call to action. So and here we have uh, different uh, form widgets. So right now we have installed what kind of form widget. Um, if you have installed contact form seven, then you can activate this. And I we have installed now, right now on this uh, website WP forms. So I can activate this for WP forms, document elements. And if you um, have a WooCommerce shop, then here are different elements you can activate for your WooCommerce store. So um, Woo product grid, uh, product list and a chart checkout. So and yeah, if you selected the um, desired widget, then you can click on next and then um, we can click on next. So and here we get more templates. So if you want to have more templates, pre-made templates for Elementor, here you can see in the preview, um, yeah, you will get uh, all these templates. So, but I don't want to have this right now. Uh, then we click on skip. And here we have additional uh, plugins. We could install but we don't want this so we can leave everything uh, off and then we click on finish yeah congratulations perfect uh okay now we can go back here to dashboard and then let's go back to our home page let's click again right click edit in in a new tab or open in a new tab so oh, and now you can see, let me go a little bit further down, the pro widget we can minimize because we don't have the pro version, uh, general link in bio. And here are all the new widgets uh, that we installed. So you can, you, this is completely free. You don't have to pay for this uh, essential add-ons. This is a really good uh, widget package. So uh, yeah, all the widgets we are activated are right now here, advanced table, uh, payment widgets you will get all of this so and let me show you how we can um, add elements so how this works so you can see when i hover over these you can see the big box here um, that goes around everything you can see here um, with this pink color here you can see uh, the x button the fixed dots and the plus and um, the big box so Ele elementor is made with these boxes and then inside these boxes or container we have different we have another container so when we want to have another container here then we can click on this plus icon and then we can choose uh, what container we want if we want to import a design uh, here you can see this is uh, this or this is our new um, widget from uh, essential add-ons but we click now on plus then we can see flex box or grid we can create a flex box then here you have different layouts of the flex boxes uh, only uh, one box and you have the different layouts so let's put in a normal flex box so now you can see we have a container a new container and in this container uh, we can let's go back we can place the different widgets so for example we can grab the text widget place it here then you can see here's a text widget we can edit this text widget and let's go back let's uh, grab for example an image widget then we can put it under underneath the text uh, we can select from the media library a demo image insert so, and uh, now this image is a little bit big, then I go to image resolution, now it's on large, then I can make it on medium, for example, or I can go to custom and give them, uh, give this image a custom size, for example, 500 in width, then we click on apply and now um, it is uh, 500 pixels. Oh, perfect. And let's say we want to have um, text and the image widget beside each other so this is um we then we have no chance here to put let me see uh to put a text widget next to this uh we only have the option to put it on top or uh underneath 
So and in this situation, we grab this container widget here. You can see container uh, under layout container. Then we um, put it here. So now we have a new container and inside this container plus again uh, inside this container, we place another container. Now we have uh, a, a container inside the container and here on this container, in our container, we right click and then duplicate. So now we have uh, two containers <laughs> underneath and then we go to the main container and here we can um, set the direction to uh, row horizontal, horizontal. Now you can see these containers are next to each other. Let me go to plus and here now we can grab um, the text editor and then go back and go back and grab an image widget place the image widget here and go here and then select an image again place it here and yeah now you can see how this works so now we can see and also um, when we want to have uh, let's say um, an image the text and another image then it's almost the same so we go again to container we grab a new main container oh wait a second let me let me make a new <clears throat> on top here so maybe this is better flexbox and let me adjust the width here you can um, adjust the width of the main container so we can make it smaller the main container or bigger and plus and then we grab this container widget place it in here now we have a main container and let's put another container here go to the inner container right click duplicate and duplicate again so now we have three containers three inner containers and the main container we set the direction uh, to horizontal so now you can see we have three containers where we can um, play stuff. So let's grab an image widget and let's grab a text widget, put it in here and another image widget. Yeah. And here we can select the image here again, select an image. And if you want to upload uh, an image, you can upload it from your computer. If you go here, and then um, select a file from your computer or uh, Elementor has an own free image database. You can go to free images and then search for anything. Um, for example, oh. <laughs> and here you have uh, all the free images you can insert or you can use with Elementor. And then we click here, download, and now we have the image here. This is really cool. So perfect. And uh, yeah, so that's it for this lesson. And now I want to show you the styling options. So um, every widget you can you can style. So for example, uh, with styling, I mean when I click on the text, for example here, and I write my I uh, wrote my text, put it in, and then I yeah, then you can see here under text editor you can see content the card content um, style and advanced so under style we can um, adjust the styling of the different element and this goes for every widget you have um, these three cards on every widget the styling and the advanced option uh, for a text widget of course we have um, the text color so let's change a text color for example to red um, okay, and here is the typography. When we click here, so we can choose the font family. So if we want to have a different font family, then um, we have the whole uh, Google database of different fonts. Let's choose this, for example. And um, here you can see, oh, let me go back. And here you can see, you can um, change the text size. You can make it bigger, make it smaller and play around with this. So here you can see um, I changed the text size and uh, the weight of the text. So normal the uh, normal text weight is 500. Then we can set it to uh, semi bold, for example, or put it back to 500. Yeah, and then here you have different other options: um, style, decoration, uh, line height. So line height is um, pretty interesting. Uh, letter spacing. You can increase the letter spacing. 
uh, or yeah or the word spacing and then go back here's the alignment if you want to align it left then center right and uh, stretch everything so make it center for example and under oh, and under advanced here are the advanced options of every widget so we we can adjust the margin you can see you can adjust the top margin right margin left margin so this means that the uh, yeah that we can increase for example the margin on the top so that um, this widget comes uh, further down and um, for this you have to uh, unlink everything click here so that we can freely input it or you can pr press here so for example when we give a little bit a little bit more of the top margin then we can um yeah press here or input a 50 pixel or something like this so now you can see we added a margin so padding of course we have uh, padding the same goes here if we want to increase the padding the top padding uh, right padding and so on then um the alignment again um uh, here are different option uh, position the z index so the z index for example if there are um, two objects that are um, overlapping for example when we have two objects that are overlapping each other and then um, we can select here which image or which object is uh, on top and this is the z index so we can um, set it up with the z index for example when um, the text is um, over over this cow then we can adjust this um, with the z index so uh, css cloud i think this is not too interesting um let me show you a few here yeah, are so many options um, under advanced now we are under the advanced tab uh, here are so many uh, settings um, content protection uh, okay you have to register here uh, motion effect okay these are locked uh, here you can see entrance under motion effect so these are locked right now because this is for, for the pro version if you want to have the scrolling effect for example then or the mouse effect then you can go um, back to the plugins and install a new plugin that offers these functions so uh, this is locked because this is for the elementor pro version but if you want to have this if you need this then um, yeah you have to install a separate um, plugin that enables these functions so motion effect we can now select um, under default we can select the entrance animation um, here you can see we have different animations you can see the animation delay time oh, and fast uh, the behavior of the animation different uh, zooming effects bouncing effects sliding effects rotating rotate in Yes, uh, this is when somebody goes to your page, then these animations. And here tr under transform, we can we can transform the text. You can see we can rotate it. We can give it offset. We can scale this. We can um, skew. I don't even know what skew is. So um, yeah, when you click here on the pencil, then you can adjust everything. Let me rotate this, for example, to show you. So. Uh, Oh, I don't know why normal, uh, maybe it is the motion effect. Let me none. Let me go back to transform, rotate. I don't know why this is not rotating. Let me test it with this image. So I don't know why this is transform uh, rotate. I don't know why this is not working right now. Ah, uh, strange. I don't know why this is not working. Normally this works. Hmm. This is very strange. Huh. Okay, let's move on. Um, yeah, we will go over this later. I don't know what this is. Yeah, and here are different other things. So um, border 
border radius you can give um, each ob object a border let me go back here let me see if now you saw that we had a little rotation here um, something strange is here so we can give this border uh, solid border for example um, here you can see you can make it bigger or smaller and then of course you can give this a color and uh, yeah so on and so on and uh, another thing what is really interesting is uh, responsive so if you want to um, hide something on different devices so for example when somebody visit this website with their mobile de mobile device mobile device and you don't want to show this text for example then you can click here and hide it on uh, the specific device you can hide it on desktop for, or hide it for desktop hide it for tablets hide it for mobile devices yeah and uh, perfect okay now let's talk about the blocks the pre-made blocks and template you can insert here so oh by the way so um, you can see on the um, right, uh, on the top right corner, this publish button. And um, yeah, as long as you are not clicking on the publish button, then nothing is live. Then nothing is uh, to see on the on the real website or yeah on the website on the front end. So as long as you don't um, press on publish, then um, nothing of your changes will get displayed. Oh, and what I want to show you. Um, is for example when we make a block here or a section let me do this real quick and we input a text here and let's put in an image here let's search for an image let's put in the cow again oh let's make it a little bit smaller and for example um, oh, and yeah, as long as you don't press on this publish button on the uh, right top corner here, as long as you don't uh, press this publish button, then nothing is to see on the front end. Um, as soon as, as I press on publish, then um, yeah, the changes are visible in the, in the front end, in the real website. Yeah, on the specific page. And um, let me show you. So, for example, you made a mistake. You, for example, you deleted uh, for some reason this cow picture here and you don't know what to do. Um, why this cow picture is now gone. Then um, there's a simple solution for this. You can go with your mouse. You can see on the left top corner, you can see this little E icon. When you click on this, then you see um, history. So when you click on history, then you can see all the steps we made uh, so far since we started the Elementor um, page builder. So the Elementor page builder is recording um, or records every step you make. And then you can simply jump backwards in time. And uh, yeah, so then you can see now the cow is back and I can jump even further back. So you can see Elementor records all our actions and um, yeah, if we did something uh, wrong um, and we don't know what happens and we can simply go back in time. So but make sure to um, don't or only press on, on the publish button if everything is OK. So as long as you not um, press on the publish button, then nothing is visible on the front end. And when somebody for some reason um, this backwards back in time the history uh, button doesn't work then of course yeah you can uh, do simply x out this tab here click on tab on exit and then yeah um, google or any other uh, browser will ask you if you really want to leave and then you say yeah i want to leave and then also the uh, settings um, are not saved and you are uh, at, the, at the latest version when you start elementor again so i click on cancel here yeah and um, this is how this works so then um yeah let me show you how um these pre-made blocks works so let me click on publish here real quick and now you can see when i click on publish and let me refresh the front page we have a smiley here <clears throat> and now you can see now all the changes are live here and yeah so then um let me show you how the blocks work so 
um, when you want to design a website, when you want to create um, this page, for example, and you want to uh, or you want to have a specific layout or a specific design and you don't want to build it yourself, you want to do it really quick, for example, or you want to have some inspiration. Let's uh, say you want to have some inspiration and you don't know how to design it, then you simply click on this plus icon again. And here we have a few options. Um, we have the options, uh, normally we click on the plus icon to, to make the new box, the new container. But now we click on um, this icon here, add template. And then the templates, the Elementor templates will open. And here you can see we have a few templates. So uh, we don't have the pro version of Elementor. And here you can see the little pro icon. So this means that we cannot use um, yeah, these these blocks because yeah we don't have the pro version, uh, but uh, yeah here you can also here you have a search bar if you're searching for a specific block, um, or you can filter this by categories. When you go here to categories, you have a ton of categories and even four four pages. Then you can simply um, yeah choose the right block that you want to have here. For example. Um, here for example is a free one you can you could insert this block um yeah there are from elementor there are not that many free blocks uh, i think but there is another way here's another free block the 404 page yeah we can find some uh yeah and then um Beside blocks, we also have pages, pre-made page layouts. So here you can see um, when we go to pages, um, a wireframe layout. So um, this looks uh, really good. So you can see, I hope uh, you can see this. Mm, can we make it bigger? Uh, no, we cannot for some reason. So um, yeah, but this design is really good, I think, for a site. And then you simply click, click on insert. Then all these uh, blocks, uh, yeah, all these widgets and all the content will get imported to your site. And then yeah, you can work with this template. And yeah, with Elementor, it's the same. Here are only a few free versions and um, yeah. So and here my templates, um, this is currently layer, uh, currently empty. Um, then we go back. So let me show you how you can fill it. Let, let's say this um, is a really good design from you. You made a really good design and you want to reuse this. Then you simply can hover over these six little dots, right click and then save as template. So let's give it a name, test one, and then click on save and then it is saved. Yeah, and when we now click on the plus icon here on the container and here you can see under my templates now this is saved and then I could insert this and reuse this design. So this this comes in really handy. So I use this, I personally use this function uh, really often. So um, normally when I work on website, then uh, yeah, these sections is, com oh. <laughs> is completely full of uh, pre-made designs from me or yeah, uh, for safe designs. So um, this is really handy, this function. Uh, let me show you another uh, method. So um, here we use this container. So we have also um, built with AI. No, we don't want this. Uh, I think this or this. Uh, let's click here. Okay. No, um, yeah. Then you could install template template. Um, then you have all then you have this complete library. So and this is the same. Uh, most of them or a few of them are free and a few of them are pro. So you can install Templi if you want to explore this. So you, you don't have to pay for this. Uh, maybe install this, this is completely free. Um, you can explore uh, the, the, all the free stuff, what they have, if you, if you can work with them. Here you can see the layout, this looks really good. Um, if you find some good free stuff, then you can, of course, import this and work with this. If you don't like it, then yeah, then leave it. So and uh, what the S button? Oh, yeah, the, uh, this is also this is from our page builder. You can see here are many different um, pages. 
uh, here you can see this is what we have actually installed but also we could uh, click here and then import a specific site so let's say you want to on yeah, this side maybe from this side here maybe we want to import this about us page then we simply click here and then we import this side and then this will replace our current about us side yeah this is how this works so and they have also blocks so yeah they have a ton of free here are a ton of free sites you can see if you need another contact us page or another about us page or something like this then you can import these pages and also um, they offer blocks so here you can see these blocks are all free you can import this and um, i think they have really good blocks uh, really good design blocks you can see um, this looks really good for example for example let's click here and then um, press on import block and now these uh, block will get imported here you can see it's already done and there is a block so the image is missing i don't know why um let's maybe it is only yeah only something with the display size so now it's working and um yeah this this works really good here you can see now you have a really good looking uh, layout of this block and here you can work with it so this is completely customizable so um, because this is all built with uh, elementor widgets so you can see when you click on this for example then you can see that this is an image box so you can replace the image you can um, change the text here and uh, yeah change this image you can completely change everything it's completely free you can play around with this and yeah they offer a ton more of blocks and i really like this block this block function here because yeah these block uh, templates uh, are really good and um, they are all free here you can see um, even map section so when you want to customize your contact us page or your about us page and make it a little bit more beautiful then you can import this block you can you can build complete websites uh, made out of these pre-made blocks and yeah so this is yeah this is really great if you want to do um, a really quick website and you don't have time then yeah import all these blocks for example make this as, as the header section or yeah uh, the hero the hero section i mean the hero section and then um yeah you search for an inner section and then you make a good footer section and yeah look at all all these um good looking pre-made templates so this is also really good when you import something like this <clears throat> or this look at this when you replace the images with your images or this ah this looks this looks really good so the gray tone and let's import this for example but you you get the idea what i want to say here so here you can see um they have a, a ton of really good good blocks so and also yeah you can fully customize this you can um change the size here uh, completely uh yeah it is completely up to you how you make this and um yeah so i think that's it for the pre-made blocks Okay, and in this section, I want to show you um, the ad advanced widgets and advanced features of Elementor. So we want to take a look at um, how to build slider um, and uh, galleries and uh, yeah, the testimonials. This is what I want to show you in this section. So then um, let's go back to our website here. And um, yeah, like I said, uh, as long as we don't press on publish then nothing is visible on the front end and if we want to go a step back then you can simply press or click on the e and then history and um, here you can see everything is recorded since uh, the last time we uh, press on publish you can see everything is recorded here and then we go back to the plus icon and yeah so then let's start um, i think with the gallery function so we have a few different options let us make a new box here a new container so we have a new container then let's go here and let's search for gallery 
and here you can see we have a few different gallery options or yeah i think we have yeah two different gallery options so you can see we have the basic gallery and the filter filterable gallery so then um, first let's take a look at the basic gallery when we want to insert a gallery now then let's take this let's put it here inside this container so and now nothing is displayed here so now we um, of course yeah now we have to fill uh, the box or the gallery with our images that we want to display so simply we click on add images and then yeah we can select images from our media library or we can upload files from our computer or we can yeah or we can select free images by searching for the right image download it and um yeah so but now i want to oh let's download a few so let this flower looks cool ah uh, where where's the flower oh flower, flower ah okay it's it's uh the right directly in in the image gallery then let's uh import another one uh free images and let's import this And let's import this, for example. So in this, these images are completely free. You can use it on your website. Um, these images are directly from WordPress, so they are completely free. You can you can fully use them. There are no restrictions. Uh, let's take one more, and then um, let's take this. Okay. Perfect. So now you can see here we have six selected items and then I click on create a new gallery and here you can see I can delete them. If I don't want this image, I can delete or I click on add to gallery. Then I can add even more images, but this is okay. Then I can click on insert in gallery. So and here you can see this is our gallery, uh, the basic gallery, how this looks. So of course we can customize this um, image resolution is the preview of the image the thumbnail of the image and make it bigger we can make it smaller let's make it on 300 by 300 so four columns let's make it to three columns caption uh, we don't want to have a caption link you can um, of course link uh, to to a specific website or a media or the the media file uh, light box so when somebody clicks on it then open the light box yeah we want this um, order by default and I think yeah the spacing here is a little bit too big then let's go to styling um, spacing custom let's make this a little bit border type solid okay here we can design the border um boom, boom. solid mm, default no we don't want to have a border or none and then we can make the corners around this looks good um but i don't want to i want to remove this base i want to make it um let me see how this works uh, or how we can do this. Um, I think that has something to do with the box width. Yeah, okay, has something to do with the box width because we only we have six images and then we can adjust the box width. So we can click then um, make the box, the complete box. We can make it smaller. So for this, we click uh, or we hover over the box, of course, and then we click on the six little dots. And here we can, under layout, we can adjust the width of the complete box. So if I make it bigger, yeah, then of course, everything uh, gets stretched. And if I make it smaller, then yeah, everything goes smaller. So let's make it this. This looks good. Yeah, this is our cool image gallery. Let me press on publish. <clears throat> and let's go to our front end. Let's refresh the front end. Uh, yeah, and there's our gallery. And when I press here, then you can see uh, we have the flower and yeah, the the file name is here we can later we can remove the file name so we could go back um ba -bum.
Um, maybe this solves our problem. Let's see here. Now oh, it's still there. Uh, let me go inside here. Mm. Okay, I think then we have to go back in the gallery, select the image and then remove the title and also the alt text. Um, let's do it for the sunflower. Example, sunflower, select all, remove saved insert in gallery let's publish this again or save this again go here let's refresh this let's click on the sunflower yeah and now this uh file name is gone so we have to delete this in the gallery okay cool then um next yeah and then when we go back here and search again gallery uh, then we have the filterable gallery and here, this is a little bit more complex. So you can see here. Uh, when we choose the gallery, then items to show um, where we put our gallery items, I think. Yeah. Okay, this is a little bit more complex. So you can see you can uh, enter the gallery name, a text when you hover over this. So this, of course, is the good thing if you want to present uh, something on your website then um, this looks really good and here's the image here you can uh, uh, select the image of the sunflower yeah and now the, our sunflower gets displayed and when somebody hovers over this then um, they see the text uh, the heading and the text and here you can um, for example link this to something or uh, make it bigger and this of course you can change you can uh, change the icon for these for these boxes or for these buttons link to buttons uh media none happened here okay or you can fully remove this by only selecting media or none yeah text the title clickable yeah you have to play around a little bit with it and figure it out and um yeah so it depends of course on what you need uh, if you need something like this, uh, such a gallery, then um, yeah, choose the advanced gallery. And if you want to have a simple gallery, then uh, yeah, simply select the normal gallery from WordPress, uh, WordPress from Elementor. Okay, let me show you how we can um, make testimonials, for example. If you are building a company website or even an e-commerce store, yeah, then of course you want to have some testimonials shown. Then let us search for testimonials. There we have some testimonials, uh, normal testimonial and uh, this testimonial. And if you want to have here, you can see again, if you want to have a testimonial car carousel, this is currently locked. Then yeah, again, you have to go uh, here to, to the dashboard of your WordPress, uh, go, to, go to plugins add new plugin and then you search for the right plugin and install this plugin activate the plugin and start uh, Elementor new then um, yeah you have this so here are uh, for example this uh, this yeah this is really good you can import an image <laughs> and then write the text and uh, yeah you can see how much you can do with it and if you want to display more uh, yeah beside each other then you simply uh, grab a container and for this container um, I will do a separate video so and this is why you should subscribe to my YouTube channel because I want I will uh, publish in a week or so I will publish a new video especially about the containers here and how to use them how to customize them and so on and so forth because when I when I go um, over this, this container and all the features of this container in this video, then this video will get two, three hours long. So this is why I want to make a separate video, especially about these containers and the inner containers and 
uh, yeah, all the settings you can do with it and all uh, the stuff you can do with this. And this is why I may I will make a separate video. And yeah, this is why you should subscribe to my YouTube channel and um, yeah, watch this video then. then. So okay, then uh, let me do this. Let me a new container inside. Uh, let me duplicate this. Uh, direction then and also when you have placed an, an uh, object here and you place it on the on the wrong position in, then you can simply grab it here and place it there where you want to have this and you also can so if you uh, like this template or this widget here and you want to duplicate this or insert this um, somewhere else simply go to the hover over this pencil icon right click and then click copy and then um, right click here and paste and now you have um, yeah copy and paste this widget here so and you can make three rows or um, five rows yeah um, let's take a look if we have we have a slider, so uh, let's put in this image carousel. Let's select a few images here. Input, input. Okay, now, yeah, now you can see we have a, um, a slider, an image slider. Um, thumbnails, we want to display this in bigger. Slides to show, yeah, three is okay. Slides to crawl, default, uh, image, stretch. What is image? Yeah, okay. Mm. Yeah, link. We can link this. We can display the caption. I think here we can adjust the speed. Yeah, here we can adjust the speed. Lazy load, autoplay, pause on hover. Um, you can toggle this on or off then here you can adjust the speed make the slider the image slider faster or slower if you want and yeah this is also a really good function so yeah and um, i think that's it for the advanced widgets and the customization of the widget and see you in the next lesson Okay, now I want to show you how um, you can make background. So for example, if you want to have a specific color in the background of a specific section or an image or a video, and this is what I want to show you now. So let's go for example, or let's make a new new section. Let's make the section here, a new section, flexbox, this. And then let's say we want to make this an a color a color background so we click here on the six dots that we select the whole the whole box and then we go to style and here you can see um, background normal or hover when i hover with my mouse over this uh, i want to leave it on normal and i go to background type you can see classic gradient video or slideshow i want to make classic and then i could insert an image or I could set a background color. So I want to set a background color. I want to make to make this background color, for example. And now you can see this box has this specific background color. When I insert uh, something um, here in the in the box, then uh, yeah, the background color is still there. And also you can play around with uh, the hover function. Here you can see you every time or on every widget you have the hover function so that something happens when you go with your mouse over the specific item. Uh, let's click on hover here and then <clears throat> select a different color, for example, red. So and yet now you can see as soon as we go uh, hover with our mouse over this box, it, it uh, turns red. And yeah, this is what you can do here. So <clears throat> let's go to history and then we can go back in time. Now this is uh, yeah gone. Now we only have this background color. And yeah, also you can insert images, you can insert or you can make gradients, um, videos, you can put videos in the background. Um, 
I think they support different, yeah, you can uh, YouTube, Vimeo, uh, self-hosted, and here you can see the player, you can make the player adjustment if, if this should play uh, on automatic, so uh, as soon as somebody visits your website that this video, for example, in the header section will display, this is maybe a good idea uh, on top here, so then we go here and um, instead of the image we have in the background let's go to style and you can see background we have currently the image in the background and then let's select video and let me quick grab a video file so i now found a, a video file uh, from me or um, i want to insert a video of mine and here you can see when i input this then <clears throat> yeah this video starts to play automatically. So this uh, yeah, is a video um, that I recorded and published on YouTube, but you can input every video you want. You can also select the start time, the end time of the video, if the video should only play once or in a loop. Yeah. Uh, but now let's uh, remove this. Let's put it back to the image. So now it's back to the image and then we can publish this go back here and um, yeah you also have the video widget here so if you want to insert a video here then you can do this you can simply grab the video um, widget and drag it here also you have the button for example when you want to have a button then um, you can choose default info but I think leave it on default and put in the, the button text and the, the link. Yeah, and then here you can make the styling. Here you can style the typography, uh, the text shadow. If the text should have a shadow, which, which color the, the shadow should have. You can um, <clears throat> make everything here and hover and normal, like I told you. And yeah, that's it here. Okay, now let me show you how the responsive mode works. So, um, for example, when we build our website on the big monitor on our home computer, and of course, yeah, when you build a website, then you probably do it on your um, desktop computer. And yeah, everything looks good on the big screen, on the big monitor. But what is when somebody wants to visit your website on the mobile phone or on the tablet or something like this, then yeah, um, the design and the layout will shrink down because a phone display is not that big and um, here on top you can see right now we are on desktop mode and here we can also switch to tablet mode let me do this click on tablet then you can see how this looks on a tablet how your website looks on a tablet and uh, the same here for mobile and of course yeah on mobile devices it's even smaller and then it can happen that um, some parts of the of the website or some elements are out of place and doesn't look so good and you have to definitely check this is if everything is okay maybe a headline is uh, not correct um let's see for example let's say this headline or maybe we find a better one um uh, uh, let's say uh, we want to display this headline um, in the middle or make make the uh, make the design of this headline a little bit different on mobile devices so then we click on this and um, here you can see now when we go to styling that uh, we will style now everything um, here for mobile port portrait mode for mobile devices so um, when you make changes here then these changes only um, appear on mobile devices not on desktop devices so for mobile we could for example um, put it in center mode then um, yeah this will only get displayed in center mode only on mobile devices and the same goes for uh, let's make it back uh, make it left um, on advanced then you can see here on advanced we can set up the margin for mobile and also the padding for mobile the width we can we can change for mobile and everything where you can see the mobile icon 
this means that um, these changes are uh, only visible on mobile devices so when we want to give this a little bit margin on the left side then we have to unlock this and we put in uh, on the left side a little bit more margin then you can see that um, yeah our design goes to the right side and yeah so this is how you can change this and this uh, these changes are only visible on mobile devices um, we have some different settings here you can uh, the motion effects i don't know no the motion effects are oh, okay here you can see for example the motion effects when you want to make an fade in entry or something like this then this is only um, visible on mobile devices yeah and so on and so forth transformation background you can set only for mobile no uh not for mo but a lot of settings or the most of the settings um, when you are on mobile mode then they are only visible on mobile oh and i think that's it um all I want to show you in this tutorial or oh, one thing I want uh, to show you so on um, of course we click on publish yeah and now you know everything how everything works how you can uh, make these containers here you click simply on plus uh, flexbox and choose the desired container and here you can see we have now two containers beside each other then and here we can input some for example text and here an image and when we click here on the six little dots then we can make under style we can make the background so we for example make a light gray background or something like that, or red now you know how this works and um yeah now i want to show you a little bit of troubleshooting so for example when you uh, design a page here then it often happens that um, and you want to and you go to the go to the front page and then you refresh it and then nothing is visible this can often happen when um, your browser when your browser cache uh, is not working correctly so this means then you have to uh, reset your browser cache or empty your browser cache so that means uh, your browser cache um, recognize um, this website and then um, to save data or to save bandwidth your browser your computer will save this website uh, locally and then um, when we refresh it the browser only shows us these data from that he has saved so uh, your browser will not show or the browser will not show the actual um, version of the website and then all you have to do is empty your browser cache so that this often helps when you empty your browser cache and what you can do also let me show you the back end here when we go to um, elementor and then we go to settings and here under settings we can go to so we have a few different options here so the most of these options are um yeah more on the advanced side so integrations you can add here for example a google maps integration on api key uh, then advanced um here you can switch the editor loader method um uh, Google fonts if you want to have or if you want to display Google fonts uh, fonts load swap uh, font away them icons yeah and so on and I think under performance yeah here under performance this is what I mean Elementor cache expiration so then um, you can set it to one hour if you don't see it you can you can try it if this helps when you go from one day to one hour and then save it and then um, yeah the, the internal cache of Elementor will get refreshed then you can do this and then of course click on save changes um, and under features uh, this is um, really new, new. Um, of course it depends on when you are watching this video right now when uh, I am recording this video so this optimization control loading um, is a little bit of experimental uh, here and here you can see it is right now in the beta phase so um, you can 
maybe um, try to when you have some problems uh, with with Elementor, then you can try to deactivate it on interactive uh, inactive and try to do this for me now it's on default i think this is now on on um yeah landing page this is not interesting uh element caching so yeah this is another thing here you can test this out if this helps if you have any problem with uh, new new updated versions of your homepage doesn't show or of any page doesn't show up correctly then you can um, try to in try to set it on inactive yeah because for me right now it is on um, better mode so you don't destroy anything maybe when in the time when you watching when you're watching this video maybe then this is um, uh, no longer in the better phase and then um, yeah all the problems are solved but yeah from time to time here and there are a little bit um, of problems with new stuff that is currently in the better phase yeah make sure that you <clears throat> or yeah try to try to play around with these options um, deactivate this and then it should work and also what you um, have to do so and here are yeah, but these functions are not here. You can um, deactivate the AI function. If you don't use the AI function, then you can deactivate this. So this, um, yeah, uh, if this is my site um, or a website I would work on, I would deactivate the AI function because yeah, the Elementor AI function uh, is, is not worth it. It's not good I th in my opinion. Um, so this is, um, yeah, nonsense. So you can you can deactivate it inactive, and then yeah, the strange AI function is deactivated. Maybe in the time you watch this video, maybe the the AI function is better, and then you can use the AI function. But I think at this point when I record the video, so the AI function is not that great. And what also really important is um, when you go to plugins. And the installed plugins here you can see I only on this website only have four plugins Elementor, the Essential Add-ons plugin, Starter Templates and WP Forms. So make sure that the automatic updates are on enabled. So you can see right now for me it is disabled. So I will click on enable, enable, enable so that um, all the new updates will automatically get downloaded and especially the Elementor version because there are, uh, yeah, uh, so much new functions coming to Elementor and that and so much uh, security vulnerabilities will get get closed and that you are always up to date your Elementor version is always up to date so this is really important that you enable the automatic uh, update function yeah and I think that it yeah, and this was my Elementor tutorial video. So I hope you liked my uh, Elementor tutorial video, of course. Yeah, maybe you have now some questions that I don't answer in this video probably. So then make sure to put it in the comments down below. And of course, yeah, it is what it is. So if you know, um, or in, yeah, in my case, I know Elementor um, very good. I work with Elementor every day. And then, yeah, you forget uh, something to, to show uh to two people and this is why uh the the comment section under the video is so important then you can put in all your comment all your questions um that you may have and i will try to answer all your questions as soon as i can so maybe it takes an hour two hours or one day or two day it yeah it depends um on how much time i have but i will try to answer all your questions and if you have so detailed questions then um also yeah let me know and maybe then i will make a new video about it and in this video especially for you i will explain for you um your question in detail in a video explain you everything how this specific function or whatever problem you have with elemental works and then i will show you in detail so yeah and for now i think um yeah uh, so we are finished with this uh, small tutorial then um yeah so if you uh 
search for any links of the video um, i put in every link in the video description down below make sure to check out the video description down below and also in the video description down below you find my patreon link so i would be happy if you could support me on patreon and i will publish uh, really good stuff on patreon as well so make sure to visit my patreon page and please yeah sign up to my patreon and support me on patreon so then yeah then uh, thank you very much for watching my video thank you very much for your time and i see then i see you in my next video bye